Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice? Alejandro Rey was a versatile Cuban-American actor born in 1930. He starred in popular TV shows like The Flying Nun, The Bionic Woman, and Dallas. His achievements include a Best Actor Award at the San Sebastian International Film Festival for The Reporter and a Golden Globe nomination for SCAG. Ray's charming demeanor and ability to perform comedic and dramatic roles made him popular among all ages. Sadly, he passed away in 1987 at the age of 57 from lung cancer, but his contributions to the entertainment industry are still celebrated today. Ray left a lasting impression on the world of film and television and his inspiring achievements continue to inspire aspiring actors and fans alike. Clint Walker, an American actor, gained fame in the 1950s and 1960s for his roles in films and TV shows. He was known for his portrayal of cowboy hero Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series of the same name, earning critical acclaim for his acting abilities. Walker won the Bronze Wrangler Award and was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award. He was humble and dedicated, and actively involved in several charitable organizations. Unfortunately, he passed away on May 21, 2018, at the age of 90 due to congestive heart failure, leaving behind a legacy of talent and kindness. Vanessa Brown was an American actress who gained fame during Hollywood's Golden Age. She starred in many films, including The Heiress and the late George Apley, receiving critical acclaim. Brown's most inspiring achievement was becoming a successful writer, penning books like Take It From Me, a memoir of her Hollywood experiences and struggles with bipolar disorder. As an actress, she had a natural charisma and nuanced performances that endeared her to audiences. Sadly, Brown died of lung cancer in 1999 at age 71, but her legacy as an actress and writer endures. She remains an inspiration to artists everywhere. John Garfield was an intense and authentic American actor, praised for his ability to convey complex emotions. He starred in successful films such as The Postman Always Rings Twice and won a Golden Globe for Body and Soul. He was a pioneer of method acting, a founding member of Actors Studio, and a relatable working-class hero on screen. Unfortunately, he died of coronary thrombosis at 39, but his legacy lives on through his impact on the acting world. Garfield was an inspiring and accomplished actor who left a lasting impression on Hollywood. Howard Morris was an American actor, director, and voice artist. He is best known for his work on The Andy Griffith Show, where he played the recurring character of Ernest T. Bass. Morris also lent his voice to several iconic cartoon characters, including Jughead Jones in The Archie Show and Beetle Bailey in the animated series of the same name. He was also a prolific voiceover artist, working on several commercials, films, and TV shows. Morris passed away on May 21, 2005, due to heart failure at the age of 85. His contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated to this day. Lash LaRue was a famous American actor, known for his Western films and unique whip-cracking style, earning him the title The King of the Bullwhip. Despite facing many obstacles, LaRue overcame them and created a successful career in acting, showcasing his whip-cracking skills in films such as The Dark Power and The Frontier Phantom. Unfortunately, he passed away on May 21, 1996, due to lung cancer. Nevertheless, his contributions to the film industry and iconic style continue to inspire audiences. LaRue's perseverance, charisma, and exceptional skills left a significant impact on the Western film genre. Douglas Foley, an American actor born in 1911, appeared in over 240 films and television shows during his six-decade-long career. He was best known for his supporting roles in classic films like Singin' in the Rain and The Ten Commandments. Despite this, 
fully achieved much throughout his career. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and the organization's first national treasurer. Foley also directed episodes of popular TV shows, such as The Rifleman and The Virginian. He was versatile, equally skilled in dramas, comedies, and musicals, and had a distinct voice perfect for voiceover work. Joe Cobb was a beloved American child actor, born on November 7, 1916, in Shawnee, Oklahoma. He rose to fame during the silent film era for his role as the charming and chubby Joe in the Our Gang series of films, appearing in over 86 films during his career. Despite his young age, Cobb was a natural talent who conveyed a wide range of emotions with ease. After leaving the series, Cobb continued acting but never achieved the same level of success, eventually retiring from acting in the 1950s to work as a carpenter. Joe Cobb passed away on May 21, 2002, at the age of 85, leaving behind a legacy of joy and contributions to the film industry. John Gielgud, a British actor and director, excelled in theater, film, and television. He was celebrated as one of the greatest Shakespearean actors of the 20th century and won numerous awards for his performances, including a Tony and an Oscar. Gielgud's exceptional talent, emotional depth, and refined stage presence captivated audiences worldwide. In 1953, he faced a scandalous arrest for importuning for immoral purposes, but recovered to continue his illustrious career. Gielgud passed away in 2000 at the age of 96 from natural causes, leaving a lasting legacy in the arts. Dorothy Christie, born on May 26, 1900, was a popular American actress known for playing maternal characters and her comedic timing. Her career spanned over three decades, appearing in more than 100 films including City Lights and The Oxbow Incident. Christie was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in the 1930 film Street of Chance. She passed away at 76 from a sudden heart attack, but her legacy as a talented actress and trailblazer in the film industry lives on, 